Joaquin Phoenix was born in a sinister religious group, where his whole family was part of. During the 70s, Phoenix, his parents and his four siblings spent their time traveling with the group through the United States. But after his parents saw the menacing practices of the group, they decided to escape and move to LA. But even after they escaped, things were hard. His parents struggled with poverty and there was a time when the entire family was homeless. The whole family used to sleep in a car parked in a friend's driveway. They also used to live in one bedroom apartment, no kids allowed. And the Phoenix family had five kids, so when the owner came to visit, the kids had to hide behind a laundry machine and stay hidden for hours. And as a way to provide food for the poor family, the children used to perform on the streets and at many talent shows, so they were soon discovered by an agent and started acting in commercials and TV shows, especially Phoenix and his brother River. They had a bright future ahead of them, but one tragedy devastated the family. When Phoenix was just 19 years old, he made the painful 911 call to save his brother River from overdosing. But sadly, his brother didn't make it. Watching his brother die was one of the most painful and traumatizing experiences that led him to retreat from the public for a year. But after returning to his acting career, Phoenix established himself as a serious and passionate actor. But his passionate devotion to movie roles turned him into an alcoholic. Playing the role of an addict for the movie Walk the Line began to affect his life in a big way, so in 2005 he checked into rehab. For his work as an actor, Phoenix has received a Grammy Award, a Golden Globe and three Oscar nominations and with every new role he is constantly pushing boundaries. So he is the lead role in one of the most anticipated movies of 2019, Joker. But even though he's an actor for more than 30 years, he still gets nauseous the day before he films. He opened up that he suffers from anxiety. He's uncontrollably shaking, physically nervous and terrified on every film set every time. And he was initially scared to take on the Joker role. But if he's so terrified of starting to film another movie, why he returns on acting every time. Because he loves what he does so much, so he faces his fears every day. If he allowed his fear to hold him back, we would never know about Phoenix today. So don't let fear stand in the way of your greatness. We all have things we love to do, but we let fear control our decisions. We are terrified of messing things up. We are terrified of failing, what other people might think. So the result is not doing what we love. And that's sad. There are so many people who have turned down amazing opportunities because they were scared and anxious. You can't wait until you're not afraid to go after the thing you want. That's not how it works. You will never stop being afraid. Being afraid is not a bad thing. It means you care. But if you let your fear completely paralyze your growth, you'll wake up one day filled with regret. So it doesn't matter how uncomfortable or painful it is, get out of your comfort zone, do something risky, do something that terrifies you, look the fear in the face, do it to learn, to change. Trust me, with every challenge, your confidence will start to grow. You deserve to live your life to the fullest and enjoy every moment. Remember, Feel the fear and do it anyway. So, what's your story?